Moving forward, we now look at the next item which is available and which can be considered as an asset for wealth tax purposes. And this is cash in hand. Now, cash in hand is included as an asset for wealth tax purposes if the assessee is an individual or HUF where it exceeds 50,000. Okay, so if it is let's say 49,000, it is not included. If it is 51,000, it is included. Right? Now what is meant here is cash in hand. Therefore, bank balance stroke checks are not covered as asset within the meaning of this clause. Right? For other persons, let's say a company or anyone else, company etc., any amount not recorded in the books of accounts is to be included as an asset under the definition of cash. Right? So let's say there was a search which was conducted on the company and the assessing officer found out that there was cash of rupees 10 lakh which was not recorded in the books of accounts okay now let's say out of this 10 lakh the tax office adjustment for tax so let's say out of this 10 lakh the assessing officer adjusted rupees 5 lakh and here it adjusted nil so if the tax officer makes any adjustment out of this unrecorded cash then that amount will be reduced from this number and let's say you've got 5 lakh here you've got 10 lakh so this amount which is not adjusted by the tax office against any demand up to the valuation date so if suppose the valuation date was let's say 31 3 2011 and the adjustment happened as on 1 4 2012 then this amount will be included it will be adjusted but for the valuation which is conducted subsequent to this date if there is no adjustment made up to the valuation date then no adjustment is to be made on this account right just to resummarize, cash in hand is treated as an asset for wealth tax purposes for individuals and HUF where it exceeds 50,000. Cash in hand does not include bank balances and checks. For other person who are liable to wealth tax, just like company, any amount not recorded in the books of accounts is treated as an asset for wealth tax purposes. Right?